Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a gloomy and dark looking photo effect. Now, this is similar to my dramatic black and white and my dramatic desaturation effect, but it gives its own unique look. So, the first thing you want to do is open up a photo that you think could use a more dramatic look. And take this photo, and I'm going to use Command J to duplicate the layer so, or you can right click and duplicate and on this duplicated layer you want to head over to image adjustments gradient map now for your gradient map just use a default black to white so you set the left one to black and the right swatch to white and then drag each swatch in about 10 percent on the location now this might look familiar as my dramatic black and white tutorial, but we're going to take it a few steps further and head over to layer, layer mask, reveal all. And on this layer mask we're going to go to image, apply image, and select OK. Now we're going to invert that layer mask, so I'm going to use the shortcut command I, or you could head over to image adjustments, invert. But what this did is, if I hide my original layer, you can see the checkerboard is where the transparency is. So the only parts of that dramatic black and white image that are showing through are the shadows, which leaves our original image to come through in the highlights. So what that does is just gives your photo a bit more of a moody look while still leaving a, a hint of color from the original and brings out some of the details in your shot. Now as a final step you can go to layer, new adjustment layer, brightness and contrast and just turn the contrast up a little bit to regain any contrast that you lost and you can even adjust the brightness up or down however you like. This photo seems to do well without much adjusting after that but in the end here's your dark and moody look before and after. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you check out my channel for more and subscribe for future tutorials. I'll see you next time.